I have made a grave mistake. I bought another anime game with, uh, why'd I do it? Spy Hanya Operation Memories is available now. It's a brand new game. It's a $50 game. Why do I keep doing this? It's like $50 anime games just aren't it. If you have any questions on what I'm talking about, check out my Mosuka Tensei review uh, for the new game that just came out. It was also $50 and guess what? Definitely not worth it. But let's go ahead and talk about Spy Families, new game. Now, a little backstory. Before I played this, I had not watched an episode of Spy Family. My wife kept telling me, my daughter kept telling me, like, Dad, honey, go watch Spy Family. And I said, <laughs> no. I saw the game and I thought, you know what? It looks cute. I might as well. I started playing it and it actually made me start watching the anime. So I'm currently watching it now. Yay. And I'm actually really, really liking it. I think it's a great anime. Unfortunately, I don't think this game is a great game. Now you might be asking yourself why. Well, let's start with the story, which there's not really a story here. In Spy Anya, you play as Anya. While she is at school doing her day-to-day -day task, this is pretty much the entire story. There's not really anything there. When you go to school, you pretty much skip through all of school and you just have things after class, which is you talking to three individual classmates, finishing school, and then going home. Here you can talk to your mom and dad and finish the day. I'm gonna get into the gameplay loop in just a minute, which is gonna go more in depth with that portion of it but that is literally the story. You sometimes go on outings and stuff like that, which adds a little bit more to the story as well, but that's pretty much it. There's nothing there. There's no meat to the story whatsoever. I will say I do think that this game will appeal to Spy Family game, uh, fans, but I don't think it will appeal to people who do not like the anime. I just don't think there's enough here for them. Now let's talk about the gameplay. In Spy Anya Operation Memories, it has such a unique gameplay loop and not a fun one at that. No, no, no. Let's start with how your day would start. You wake up as Anya and you have to go to school. So you go to school. It skips. Uh, you have a loading scene, whatever, and you get to school. It skips the entire school day and you are then after school. At this point, you have three people you can talk to, Damon, Becky, and the headmaster. Once you talk to them, which is about a 10 second talking session, I don't know, depends on how quick you read. After you talk to these three people, you find a unique spot to take a super cool photo for your diary. You have to get it into focus. You have to aim the camera to the perfect angle and wait for that perfect timing. And you take that picture and add it to your diary. What? That's so cool. No, just wait. After that, you get another loading screen of you going home. Once home, you can talk to mama, you can talk to papa, and then you get to, guess what? Take another photo with another super cool location. Oh, snap. After you get done with that, you can eat dinner. Now, eating dinner again is a skipping point. This is just like after school, before school kind of thing. It just skips over it. You, you don't watch dinner. You just finish it. After that, you get to sit down and do a mini game if you have enough Eureka points. Eureka points are gained by doing other tasks. You go and do whatever mini game you want, which is where the game shines, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But you do these mini games, and that's it. Once you're done with the mini game, you go to bed and restart the entire process over again. Every three days, though, every three days, you get to go on an outing. These outings are to different locations, like a fountain or an aquarium. And once you go to these outings, there are literally really nothing to do. You take two photos there of two different locations, Seven in total per location, and that is it. That is all you do. You restart the day, and you go to the next day, and it's just over and over again. It's a gameplay loop that really doesn't have any gameplay. It's just very, very bare bones. And for a game that costs $50, I just don't understand why they didn't add more meat to the actual gameplay. But I will say, the mini games do add a little bright spot in a very, very dull world. Now, you can customize your characters and things along that nature, which makes it kind of adorable, you know, being able to change up their hairstyle or their outfits, stuff like that. It's fun. It's cute. There isn't really much past that, though, and I just, it's hard for me to suggest a game like this for $50. I think if it came in at a $20 price point, I definitely think this would be a lot better than what it is. But at $50 with such a repetitive gameplay loop and there not really being anything 
great about this game. I just can't suggest it. Even for Spy Family fans, I think this is one that you're going to have to wait until it comes on a deep sale because it is not worth it at what it is now. I would give Spy Anya Operation Memories a 4 out of 10. I'm sorry, don't hate me. Please don't send me hate mail. I didn't mean to do it. I do like the anime so far. It's just, God, this game isn't a game. It's not a game. It's Pokemon Snap if Pokemon Snap wasn't fun. That is Spy Anya. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. As always, keep getting those trophies. This has been Chris with Platinum Reviews. I'll catch you on the next video.